King and I don't have much in this world. We only have each other. So if that dumb crown is important to him, it's important to me. Besides, us weirdos have to stick together, you know? What do you do when you can't do nothing, but there's nothing you can do? You do what you can. But it's inevitable, so why help? Oh, because we love you, dummy. You're our friend, right, Phoenixa? You're the most tolerable. It took discovering a form of, of self-love and self-respect that, uh, that I was able to enjoy, you know, being around a bunch of people who were awesome. It's okay. This is something that I am sick and tired of being overshadowed by how easy it is for people to hate. Time and time and time and time again, the easiest thing for people to do is hate. And especially with the fact of hating someone or something being encouraged by some platforms, it has continued to feel like to me like everyone would rather hate the world than try to change it for the better even if it feels like those changes don't do anything substantial. The fun of everything is kind of going away. Or maybe that's just endemic of, like, the bubbles that I'm in. Maybe it's just endemic of the stuff that gets served to me. But algorithmically driven content just kind of drives everybody to anger all the time. Because it's so much easier to be angry about stuff and hate stuff and hate each other than it is to do anything decent anymore. You know, I like to make a community that involves everyone to be a part of it. One of the things I like about video games is, you know, growing up, playing them online, the anonymity has always really stripped away these immutable characteristics, uh, and that, that would be race, religion, identity. And because of the anonymity that online gaming has really provided, or really this community, you know, whether you be on like a message board talking about Shin Megami Tensei or really any random game, you strip away those immutable characteristics and you realize at the end of the day all human beings really are are the same people you know you bleed the same you know if, if, if my body was chopped in half i would look the same inside as anybody else regardless of their immutable characteristics Hang let me give you a story the other day i went for a walk and i came across a closed off street full of people Children, adults, people from all walks of life. All gathered to view a live performance. Did that performance change my situation in life? Or anyone else's situation in life? No. Did it make anybody rich? No. Did it cure my disability or anyone else's disabilities? No. What it did do, though, was it gave me and everyone else in that crowd a day that we remember fondly and enjoyed. It was something that didn't change much of anything, and yet, it was something enjoyable to see for people who did. Nowadays, especially nowadays, it is so easy to put down any and everything just because of that, just because of this idea that it hasn't changed anything major and people will just glomp on to that way of thinking only seeing things in a pessimistic light but when you live your life like that at every waking moment with everything you do i just gotta ask what's the point what's the point of living a life in a constant state of hate and criticism when it just leaves you and everyone else around you just so fucking miserable. Some people don't care. 
Some people just want to live their life with spite and misery, whether it be because it's their job or because they just get off on it. Some people do this, but for everyone else, I honestly doubt it. Right now, I don't know, I imagine for every 10 people either posting on social media misinformation, slander, and lies, and throwing others they do and don't know under the bus for their own ego, or even trying to tear others apart out of jealousy. For every 10 people like that, I imagine there's a thousand more that right now are currently watching a movie, a cartoon, playing a game, being around others, and just having a good time letting days go by. And for every 10 people like that online, there are probably a hundred that just stand between just jumping on the bandwagon of that kind of cesspool every two to three weeks, or questioning if it's right to spend their time focused on entertainers and strangers they most likely don't know personally. In a way, it is kind of a beautiful thing about enjoying your life, is that you do have to actively go out and find what you enjoy, what makes you happy. But I will admit, sometimes people can just get lost along the way, ending down paths that do nothing but thrive on your depression and deteriorating mental health. So, how can this be fixed if it can even be fixed to begin with? Well, honestly, I think it just starts with us. You, me, the different content creators and streamers, both big and small, the people we interact and see on a daily basis, be it on or offline, the stuff we do and don't consume in entertainment, and so on. More so, I feel like we need to look more towards that which makes our days just a little bit better, between what can't be avoided. And yeah, I know, uh, sure, it's not a smart note to go on with we need to just drown out all negativity and bad things in the world as that's just ignoring what shouldn't be ignored at times. But when the other extreme that has been popular is drowning yourself in an ocean of fear, loathing, and pity among other factors that breed and feed mental problems, I'm just gonna say it. Sometimes we just collectively have to stop giving a fuck. And I do understand, again, for some people, this is their job. They have to talk about the stuff to keep the lights on. There's nothing really I can say or do about that other than just... Maybe we should just not fill our time and days out with just only that stuff in particular. It's kind of like candy to me. Maybe, yeah, it's bad for us. Maybe we shouldn't be consuming it to begin with. But it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with having a chocolate bar or two every now and then. As opposed to having that bag of Halloween candy you got last night and scarfing it all down in three minutes. Then finding other kids' candy and taking that for yourself and just scarfing all that down. And then wondering why your body is going to hell and you tested positive for diabetes. Personally, I think I am partially to blame for this as well, as I don't really contribute as much in this area. I've made videos in the past trying to balance depressing subjects with a layer of nuance and focusing on positives to the best of my ability. I've made a video talking about why I'm proud to be black while also bringing up some of the racist shit I've had to deal with alongside it and some of the issues I've had to deal with being light-skinned. As someone who's a minority, Miles Morales is an absolute gem of an icon, as well as a wonderful representation. And the game around him, even if the criticism is valid to a degree, is still a wonderful title, and I love that he got his own game. You can disagree with me all you want on that, but I'm not sorry to say he's a Spider-Man. I've made a video d discussing the misunderstandings of trauma from my perspective, and things I felt have helped me deal with it in the hopes of maybe helping others that might be going through similar or even worse things. It's physical, mental, and emotional scars. 
It's always going to be there. It's just a matter of how the person can be able to manage it going forward that is the kicker. At least that's why I believe. I've talked about my life story for an hour while also making it clear, despite how much of a hell my life had been growing up, pushing through it and getting help both physically and mentally had actually been the best thing to happen to me after all of that. And I kept eating and I got, and my body was just storing the fat that it needed, it was storing the nutrients, it was getting what it needed. So it was, it was so desperately needed. So that was, that was really good. I don't know. I kind of feel like I should do more in my power and my current state of being. Not really for anyone necessarily as much as it is personally for me. Because I'm gonna be real. Getting set recommendations day in, day out about the downfall of the recent content creator or streamer, videos highlighting people saying dumb shit or threatening people or both, the amount of times I have seen people on social media turn private matters into public affairs for attention and clout and to put down other people, doxing, people not understanding boundaries, conversations regarding subjects some people are incredibly ignorant on and say some really bad things, controversy being boiled down to this person criticized my video game, let's ruin his life, the amount of shit around AI, so on and so forth. I feel like needles are constantly stabbing my body without breaking my goddamn skin. And if I don't do something about it outside of telling YouTube to stop recommending this to me for the 300th fucking time, I am going to be real. I personally think not too long from now, I might find myself in a situation that I do not know for the life of me how the fuck I got here to begin with. And then by the time I realize it, I will find out it's too late to walk it back. And I imagine plenty of people know exactly what that feeling is like. So for my sake, and possibly anyone who is screaming to the goddamn moon and back, for the record to be changed finally, I want to attempt to do my best to make content from here on out that at the very least is a nice distraction and dare I even say at the most an enjoyable time. And in the meantime, if you would want to kill time with something entertaining outside of constantly seeing the 24-7 channel of social media and influencer bullshit, every video I have shown in this video alone is either credited or linked in the description below. I understand that this will not actually get rid of most problems people are dealing with, if not all of the problems people are dealing with. But I do think it does make them hurt a little less, even if it's for a moment. And honestly, I just want to say if life seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel from being online constantly, I just want to say, it's okay. Please take care of yourselves and the people you love. It's okay. <laughs>